Well hello there and welcome back to the Hull City Fan Central YouTube channel where today it is game day and I will have a little match vlog reaction sort of thing uh, going on. So kickoff is in just under an hour for me but only in a few seconds for you so I will have a few reactions of any interesting moments within the game i.e. when we score 10 goals. Yeah. No, so I've got uh, the awake, not the awake, the home kit on um, for today. So uh, hopefully it can bring me some good, well, bring us some good luck for Hull City. Because we need a desperate win to uh, not drop into relegation, which we haven't had that scare for quite some time. So uh, bring it home, come on you all. Right, so we have got our starting lineup out. We've got back doing goal as usual. Bernard McLaughlin, Greaves in defence. Longman, Smallwood, Doherty and Elder in midfield. Uh, then Honeyman's gone on that more of attacking midfield area. And then we've got McGuinness and Lewis Potter up front. So uh, we have got Wilkes dropped out the squad fully, which I'm happy about. Um, but we do have Elder coming in, playing that sort of winger role that Lewis Potter likes to play. Um, so yeah, we've got a very interesting starting lineup um, compared to previous games, but hopefully that can bring us the three points. Come on, you all! My God! So we've just had oh, is it McGinnis shot blocked? Honeyman come in shot blocked. Oh, closest uh, bit inside the first ten minutes. Yeah, McGinnis got a shot blocked. Send it back out to Honeyman. He comes in shot saved offline by the keeper. Gone out for a corner. Hopefully we can make something of this, but uh, inside first 10 minutes, it's looking Blackpool's way, but we've made a, a very good chance there. Hopefully we can bring some out of this game. Okay, so Callum, Callum Elder, who's coming to the starting lineup, obviously, off the back of an injury, is now down injured. Not Nothing too serious by the looks of it, but he is going to be replaced with uh, Tyler Smith, who is coming on, which uh, I'm not sure if that's going to be a change of formation or what. Because obviously Callum Elder is playing the midfield role, midfield role uh, in this game at the moment, and Ty Smith obviously being a forward. Is he dropping into midfield, or are we go in with uh, Honeyman dropping back and um, having Tyler Smith fill in that Honeyman role? Who knows? Uh, but hopefully this change may bring out a goal. Who knows? And it's one 0 to Blackpool after a penalty again. Uh, but this time it looked a bit more leaning into it. Um, Greaves comes down, slides in. From my angle, I thought he got a touch on the ball, but apparently not. Of course, Blackpool convert the penalty. Um, so it's 1 0, 13 minutes into the game ish. Um, we are looking the more dominant team. Um, it's just Blackpool every, every like five minutes, they get a few minutes where they can get a good push in. Um, works well, usually from the counter, but um, but we are looking at a more dominant team. If we can equalise before half time, I'll be happy, but I don't think so. Unfortunately, the backs has to come see the penalty as well. That's uh, two games on the trot where we've had to concede penalties, which is stupid. Stupid. Get VAR in the championship, I say. All right, so that's half time here. Um, it's still 1 0 to Blackpool. Yeah, we have been looking the better team, if I do say so. Um, we've had some good uh, good chances, just unfortunate not to score any of them. Uh, Tyler Smith had a good one at the end of this half, where it literally he could have could have just scored, but came off the wrong side of his foot and went straight into the stands behind the goal. Um, but yeah, we have looked like we are the better team. Uh, get a reshaping from Grant McCann in the dressing room over half time, and I think we could maybe come out. Either draw, um, or we can certainly get another goal. We can certainly get a goal out of this game. Not another goal. We haven't scored yet, but certainly get a goal, a goal out of this game, um, and maybe even win it. But it's a bit of a stretch, isn't it? So uh, hopefully we can get something out of it, though. Okay, so the game unfortunately ended in one nil win to Blackpool from that first half penalty. Uh, the second half definitely wasn't as good quality as the first half. Uh, we, until the five minutes of injury time, we just didn't bring anything to that second half. Um, I'm surprised Blackpool didn't make a, get another goal. Um, I'm surprised that we didn't score an injury time. Uh, there was like three or four chances where it was just pounding at the keeper and it didn't go in. So, yeah. 
it's a, it's, a, it's a sad loss, of course, uh, but a lot of our team will be just coming back from COVID. So it's a bit understandable, but it's also a, it's not a nice one to lose when you're going 1-0 down. And with that first half performance that we really should have capitalised on, it's a bit disappointing. But hopefully we can uh, bounce back and become a bit better um, against Everton next week. Um, obviously, because that is our um, third round of the FA Cup um, tie against Everton. I will have a match day vlog at the stadium, hopefully as long as no COVID rules or anything gets in the way. Um, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure that you like and subscribe so you stay tuned to this YouTube channel uh, to see more Hall City content. So I'll see you in the next one.